So what is the favorites menu that's built into Safari and how can it help you? <laughs> Let's find out. All right, welcome back. So if you watch my channel before, you know my videos. I do a lot of videos on reviews of products and stuff and sometimes old Macs. This is gonna be a, a video that's gonna just be some tips and what it basically is gonna be about is Safari. So if you use Safari as the browser and Mac OS, Go ahead and stay tuned. I'm gonna show you a couple little things here. The one thing I wanna show you for today is gonna to be the favorites bar that's built into the top of Safari. A lot of people may hear favorites bar and they may think they know what that means or they may think they've used it before. And you probably, you know, some people have obviously, but a lot of people, I would say 90% of the people probably never actually turned on the favorites bar. And so I'm just gonna show you what it is, what you can do with it, why it's useful, and we'll kind of go from there. So it is actually really useful. I tend to use both Safari and I use a lot of Chrome as far as my browsers as well and Mac OS. But Safari is gonna usually run a lot more efficient. So like when you're opening up YouTube or you know other types of apps and stuff, it just seems like it's gonna use less battery and stuff if you're using it like on a, in a laptop. And uh, it's gonna be a little bit more efficient than using Chrome. So while I like Chrome, Safari is probably the right choice when you're using Mac OS. And uh, there's a feature built into it called Favorites. And I'm gonna show you what that's all about, how you can use it, and why it might benefit you. I'm gonna do a screen share here in a second, so let's get into it. All right, so what is the favorites menu or the favorites bar, I guess you'd call it in Safari? Let's go ahead and find out. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and open up Safari. So down here, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. You'll notice that you have some favorites right here. Whenever you open up Safari, it lists some of the favorite websites you have here. So this is kind of tied to the, the favorites bar, and I'm gonna show you that in a second. If you go to a website, obviously those things disappear and you have you know really clean, you have your URL up here, but there's nothing below it. And you can go ahead to any website that you want to. But how do you show your favorites menu right here? First thing you wanna do is you wanna go up to view here, see it there, and then show favorites bar and click on that. And if you notice now, it, li it listed these four different things right here. And these are the exact same icons you had when you first logged into Safari, if you notice that. So here they are, Apple, Bing, Google, Yahoo. They're just really basic, but you can add and delete those. I'll show you how to do that. So if you click on something, obviously now, it's gonna bring you right to the website that's up there. Um, so Bing goes to Bing, Google goes to Google. You get the idea. So it's really quick, fast links, but there's a lot more power to this. Let's go ahead and show you a couple things. So the very first thing you wanna do is, these are tied to your favorites bookmarks. So keep that in mind. So if you go over to bookmarks over here, click on it, and then you click on show bookmarks, over here, you'll see here's your favorites folder. I only have one folder. I can open it up. You can see it there. Here's all the different, you know, all the different links and stuff that are, these are actually the same thing that's right here. So if you want to add one to this list, what you can do is you can go up to bookmarks. You can go ahead and do add bookmark seat here. Click that. And then just make sure it's in the favorites folder. See how it's in the favorites folder. And, uh, and then you can go ahead and, uh, you know, add this page too. So again, we're on a page here and so what we want to do first before we do that we want to go to the page that we want to add so let's just go to uh, foxnews.com or something like that it's a news site so let's go in here and now if we want to add this let me just go to bookmarks add bookmark and then you basically you know you can you usually want to shorten this you don't want the, the title this long so we're going to go ahead and shorten that down like that make sure it's in the favorites click add and you'll notice that it added it over here now. See that? Over here. But now it's also added up here. So now you got Apple, Bing, Google, Yahoo, Fox News. So let's just do it really quickly. So again, let's just go to CNN.com. If I could type, it would be a little bit easier here. And uh, so we're going to go to CNN. And again, we can go ahead and go to bookmarks. Add bookmark. Make sure it's you know smaller here, just like that. And then click. Make sure it's in the favorites folder because otherwise it won't be added to your favorites bar. And there it is. Now if we click on that, it goes to CNN. You get the idea. That's really easy. A couple different things you can do up here as well is let's just say you're on one of these things and you want to remove something from here. Um, you can go ahead and do that. You can basically just uh, hold, you, know, you select it and then you drag it down. Watch this. So I'm going to select Fox News. I'm going to click on it with the left button and then drag it down my screen. So watch what happens. Going to drag it, keep dragging, keep dragging, keep dragging, and then let it go way down here and see how that. Whoosh, <laughs> did you see that again? Let's try it with CNN. Watch this again. It kind of blows up and that means it removes it from the list. So go down here. See that? It removed it from the list. Now it's gone. So now your favorites have been updated. Now, if you want to get rid of this bar over here, you just go to bookmarks and you go to hide bookmarks right here. 
and uh, it's going to go ahead and hide the bookmarks and then you have a full screen again. So anyways, that's the, that's the easy part. Now, now we're going to show you something a little bit more interesting. All right, now for the more useful parts. Let's go ahead and show you a few more things. What you want to do is go ahead and go up here to bookmarks. Go to show bookmarks again and we're going to bring these bookmarks back again under my favorites here are the four they're tied to the ones here in this this favorites bar up here um, so let's just start here so the very first this is the kind of the power of this what you can do here is you can actually right click on favorites see that and you can click new folder see that and what we're going to do in here is we're going to go ahead and put news let's call that news and that's really cool right so it's just, right now it's just a folder, there's nothing in there. But you can see up here, what it did is it created actually a news, I guess, link up here. If you click on the little arrow, it says empty, so there's nothing's in there. And obviously you know where this is going, but it's kind of cool. So let's go back over here to favorites, and you wanna go ahead and right click on it, and then you wanna click new folder. And we're gonna do this time, we're gonna do sports, just like that, so there we go. So now we have news and sports, and it added up here to the bar, this favorites bar up here. So it's very straightforward. But the cool part is you can go ahead now and add sublinks here and there's a couple of cool things that will happen later I'll show you but let's go ahead and add some just keep in mind over here you have to right click on favorites if you right click down here and you click new folder and you type in sports it's not going to really add it to this to up here because you're outside of the favorites menu you just created another menu besides favorites so you don't want to do that you want to make sure it's in the favorites menu so for this one we're just going to delete it because it's not going to show up anywhere up here but now that we have apple bing yahoo google news sports what i what you want to do is let's just go to cnn.com really quickly and the way you can populate these sub menus is you just go ahead and once you're in here grab this drag it it's going to move a little bit on you it's a little difficult drag it into news just like that and then we're going to go ahead and make this shorter just so it's not as long so we're going to cut that down and click ok and uh, let's go ahead to just one more and we're going to go to foxnews.com just like that and uh, we're going to go ahead and take this drag it into news just like that and then we're going to shorten this up just like that all right so now you can see under news you have CNN and now it's populated. So you can go right to CNN by clicking on it. That's really cool. And you can do the same thing. So obviously with sports and stuff, you can go ahead and populate the sports the same way. That's not, it's, it, just go ahead and drag them in here once you get all their sports sites and then do the same with all the news sites. So that's really straightforward and easy. So now that we have this, this is the interesting part. So let's just say you had a whole bunch of different news sites in here. Maybe there's 10 or 20 of them. Um, you can either go to them individually like this, which is kind of cool. Um, obviously, if you add a whole list of all your favorites up here, here. But the real power is if you act, you know go ahead and just right click on the news directory inside of here There's this thing called automatically replace tabs see it right there and just go ahead and re you know, click that and it'll make a little check mark next to it And what you notice is it made this it made a little box there see it up here next to news It's not a drop down instead. It's a little box or a square see it there and what that does means it means basically now if you click news what it's going to do is it's going to open up in different tabs all of those different news sites that you had so look at it's got fox news over here it's got cnn so it, li it lists, opens them up all in, automatically in tabs for you so you don't have to open up each one individually and that's kind of cool if you want to check like daily news or you want to check all different daily sports sites or all different types of sites if you want to turn that back off, you go ahead and right click on it and just click automatically replace tabs there. Just make sure they check that off. And now it's back to a drop down just like that. So that's very easy. And that's some of the power that you have there. And then finally, the last tip, a lot of people like this to be really clean. Let's say you have a ton of icons up here. Or you just, you know, it's your little secret. You don't want people to know that you have news and stuff. Whatever is your case. You can go ahead and you can, you know, change these to icons if you want. So if you go ahead and click on Apple but hold it, you're going to notice it changed to like a white screen. See like that? Now in here you can go ahead and, whoops, I clicked on it. But let me go ahead and do it again. Go ahead and click on it, hold it. So Apple, I can go ahead and change the name of this. Uh, to anything I want it to be. So if I want to name it something different, it's fine. But what I want to do is make it an icon. So I'm going to go ahead and click in front of Apple right there. And then what you want to do is you basically have to go into your keyboard and click Control Command, Control Command Space all at once. So Control Command Space, it's going to bring up the emoji menu here. So let's go ahead and search for Apple just because you know, we want to put an apple there. So click on that, and now you'll see the little apple there. But what I want to do is just get rid of apple altogether. So we're going to get rid of that. And I'm going to click off, and now you can see that it's got a little apple. So now I can go to Bing, or I can click on this little apple, and it's going to bring me to Apple's website. So that's how you can use emojis to kind of populate this up here if you want little icons up here, not just you know naming conventions. Um, and it's a little bit, you know, just a little bit different if you want to be different. Um, but that's the power of really using this menu. Just kind of fool around with it. Um, I, if you have a whole bunch of different websites up here with big, you know, tons of different drop downs and stuff, it gets, it's actually really nice to use. I do like the feature. 
or you can open up all tabs. The one thing I forgot to tell you really quickly is if you do go ahead and if you right click on this and you automatically replace tabs and you make that little square and then you click on it and all these tabs come up, you can theoretically just click back and it's gonna bring back all your old tabs for you. If you had a bunch of old tabs, all right, so what do you think about it? So it's not gonna be, again, a lot of these tips are not life-changing, but they're just tips that a lot of people just don't know about. And when you actually start using them and you put them into use, uh, it makes your day a lot more efficient. Just having the capability of having drop-down menus that are right there for you. You can have all of your news, all of your sports, all of your different types of websites, all in these directories. And it just makes it a lot easier. You can actually open up multiple websites at once if you want to check a number of news sources. If you want to check a, a number of, I guess, ball, you know, ball scores on ball games and stuff, you can go ahead and have all those open up. Again, is it life changing? Is it gonna is it gonna save you more than maybe 30 seconds a day? No, but it you know it's built into it, so why not use it if you, you know as long as it's there? That's the way I look at it. So. Hopefully you guys like these tips and definitely put comments you know, below and other Safari tips that you found that may be a little bit different. This one's not that different, but again, a lot of people just don't know what's out there. So just help me out, put some tips down there. I can definitely incorporate it into another video. Um, and hopefully you can support the channel. It's a really small channel. We're growing slowly but surely. So go ahead and click the like button if you can and subscribe. It's gonna really help us out. We'll make more of these videos to help people out. Talk to you soon. Peace.